What is up guys, Troy here, and today I am back with another pickups video. Today I have a couple pickups from a two to a three week period-ish. Uh, it's been kind of dry around here. The past couple weeks I haven't been able to get out much because of exams and whatnot. But I'm out of school now, so I went today and I got a couple finds from a couple thrift stores. And I'm going to show you that. But first I'm going to start off with the oldest stuff. And that would be some PS2 controllers. Uh, this one is the clear one, which I think was really cool. I don't have a clear one, and I've never come across a different one in this good a condition. I'm going to unwrap it for you guys to talk about it. But uh, as I talked about in different videos, I have a guy that I go to at the flea market that has uh, just a bunch of bins. He buys storage units and just brings all the bins to the flea market and charges you for it. But yeah, it's a nice controller. Analog sticks are in good condition. A little slipper just because um, they don't have the little grips, but everything else works. These are this is tested, it worked fine. And then I'm just gonna put this to the side real quick. And then I have a no oh, I'm sorry about that bang there. Let me unwrap the next one. Here we go. Then we have another, just a plain black normal dual shock. Pretty clicky, responsive. Let me focus for you guys. Yeah. There you go. Alright, a little better. Pretty good condition there. Uh, they had two for five, so I got picked up both those controllers for five bucks, which was a pretty good deal. I planned on selling one of my old ones, but they're not in that great condi condition. So I don't really want to sell them and have people get mad at me for saying, oh, this controller's not great or whatever. Like, I know. So I'm selling it, but anyway. So I think I'm going to keep this. Currently I have three actual Sony controllers and then one GameStop controller. And the GameStop controller works really well considering the one Sony controller is broken. But it, it's a good replacement to keep just in case. So that was two for five on those things. And then I stopped at a Goodwill one day and I only picked up one thing, but it was this. The uh, Sly Collection, as you can see, I paid three bucks for it. But it was a really cool um, thing to find because I really like these collection discs. Because my PS2, as you guys, I've told you, is my favorite system. And these are all PS2 games that they remastered and put on PS3, which is really cool. It's to get all three of them for three bucks. It's basically a dollar for each uh, high def game there. Let me put my controllers. No, there you go. I'll just put that to the side over there. Alright. Now, now I have a stack of games that I bought today. So this was a different day from the flea market. This was at Goodwill, obviously. So we'll start with, let's try the worst game. Worst games first. Here. Alright, cool. So first game we got, and all the games I'm about to show you I got for a dollar a piece. Not a dollar, or not a dollar for all of them, but a dollar a piece. Uh, Shellshock Nom 67. Yeah, 67. It's, uh, I wasn't going to pick it up, but it was a dollar, and it's made by Gorilla Games, so my that's cool. So I'm, I think I'm just going to throw it in with a lot, but it was in good condition, complete. I'm going to have to test it out. If it's any fun, then I might keep it, but I doubt it, though, honestly. I've never seen a more realistic war game. Yeah, I bet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, so... Uh, next game, we got Hitman Contracts, PS2. I didn't pick this up at the same place as the other games, but it was still a dollar. Well, it was the same store, but a different location. Same, like, chain, thrift store chain, but different location. Uh, Hitman Contracts, it was complete. And I didn't have this one, so I don't know if I'm going to include this in a lot or not. But it was in condition, complete, and I have the second one, uh, Hitman 2, which was the first Hitman to come out on the PS2, because the f original Hitman was only a PC game, so I didn't, you can't get that, obviously. Well, I mean, I could, but I'm not really interested in it, because it's PS2, or uh, PC. Alright, then the next game we got here is a uh, God of War 2, with the, uh, the two-disc set. I don't know if they're all two-disc sets, but the one I already, I already own, God of War 2, but, uh... I'm like, well, it looks good to have a cool two-disc game in there. It was complete here. 
really good condition manual. Doesn't look like it's even been opened. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me, then we have uh, disc one here, which is the actual game itself. And then we've got the uh, special features disc, which both look to be in really good condition. From what I saw, let me check again. Yep, really good condition, guys. So that's cool. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is being a little weird. I apologize for that. Alright, then we got uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I picked this up before on a couple videos ago, I believe. I picked it up for... I paid five bucks for it back then. Which I shouldn't have. shouldn't have paid five bucks for it. It's too much. But this was a dollar, so I picked it up. And I'll... This is a good game to throw in a lot. Just a well-known game that's well-recepted. If the Even if the game isn't... Um, expensive by itself. If you bundle it with other games that are just genuinely good games and not garbage, people will pay more for it, for the most part. So, I got this complete, and I compared it with my copy, and they're basically the same exact condition. Like, this is a really fantastic copy. There's no, like, damage, besides the sticker here, which I'll have to remove anyway. But, um, there's no damage to the case. The artwork's in fantastic shape. Both manuals are pristine, and the disc itself was really clean, I don't think there was like any marks whatsoever on it, so that's cool. I haven't played uh, this game yet, even my copy that I've had for months now, I haven't played it, because I really wanted to play this series from start to finish, if that makes sense, like, if I was gonna play Metal Gear Solid, it's a really complicated story, and I don't know if you can play them out of order. So I wanted to get P the Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PS1 and then work my way up. I thought that'd be cool. And then my final game I picked up was a game that I've been looking for for a long time. Like, out in the wild. Like, it's not an expensive game. It's a very common game. But it's a cool game that I just didn't want to pay 5 bucks for. I'm like, well, if it's this common, then I'll just find it out in the wild. And eventually, I did. And we have a copy of Final Fantasy 10 for the PS2. I'm so happy. If you guys know this already, which you might, I might have talked about it before, um, I have the 10 slash 10.2 HD remaster for my Vita, and I got, I don't know, I think I got like 10 hours into it. I haven't played it for a while just because it's on the Vita, and I don't really, I love my Vita, but I just don't play it that much, if that makes sense. But this is cool. I'll probably start the game over just to play it on the PS2. Even though it did look better on the Vita, obviously, but it was in complete copy. Full color manual. Oh, this is getting messed up. Oh. Let's see. Let's push it back a little bit. This thing's starting to fall down. Let's see here. There we go. Cool. Alright. Yeah, the manual's in good condition. Really nice color. Look at the little plush in the back, it's so cool. This guy's a pain to kill. I didn't know how to kill him. Anyway, Final Fantasy X, I'm pretty sure it was a really good condition game. Um, this is probably the worst condition of the games, but it's still in good condition. Like, all the other games I picked up for a dollar were like, they're all complete. Uh, besides a couple, besides sticker residue and whatnot, like, the cases are in good condition, everything's fantastic. So, that's it for pickups, besides the controllers, so I'll just recap. i um, keeping this game, for sure, I'm not gonna sell that anytime soon. Uh, I'm selling Metal Gear Solid, because I already have a copy. I'm selling God of War 2, because I have a copy. This is up for debate. I don't know if I'm selling this or not. I think I'm just going to keep this. I'm just going to hang on to it for now. Um, so for now we're just going to put it in the keep pile here. And we have Shell Shock. Uh, this is probably going to get sold. And then Sly Collection is definitely mine. Even though this is probably the most valuable of the games, it goes for like 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, it'd be a decent profit, but I think this is really cool to find out in the wild like that, so I'm probably going to keep it. So I'm keeping these three here. Open them. There we go. Keeping those three. And I am selling the 
those three. And as for the controllers, I'm definitely keeping this cool blue one. I think it's blue. Is it just a normal color? I don't know. I'm not familiar with the names of the colors, but it just seems like it has a bluish tint to me. Or just could it just be plain? I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. And then this black one I'm definitely keeping. This is probably my best condition controller overall. It's just really clean. What is on it? Just kidding. I don't know what's on it. I never, honestly, I never even noticed that. A little mark. But it's not like grime or anything. Like a lot of these controllers I find out there are just grimy. Like even the little, you can see in the, like, the little grooves there, it's usually disgusting. Like the other one, this one is nasty. Yeah. I haven't played with this yet, as you can tell. It's it, it's not like, like here, like what I'm touching, I'm not touching the grime. It's in between, like it's underneath the layer. Like, I don't know, it got in between the crack and then seeped down. Like, so me touching this, I'm not touching any of the nastiness. It's in the control, it's weird. I tried to clean it and I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't actually on the outside. So it's not actually bad to play. It's just, these grips are nasty. So definitely keeping this, I'm gonna put this over here, and then this is, yeah, I'm probably gonna keep that too. So yeah, that's it guys. I am really appreciative of you guys watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to uh, like, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I should have a gameplay up hopefully soon. I had a pretty cool gameplay that I've been saving for uh, like a rainy day kind of vid. Like I have nothing to do, so let's just throw a video up. But uh, I don't know if you guys want to see that. Leave a like, let me know. Uh, comment what your favorite game was. Just talk to me in the comments. I'm always talking and replying to people. So yeah, that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one.